Hey guys, this is Rashid by Nettle Company, the producer of the best and the strongest black seed oil on earth from Ethiopian seeds. This is the color of the real, the strongest, the best and most potent black seed oil on our planet. So guys, today uh, will be video about uh, uh, pesticides in the black seeds and also GMO. Uh, how to un find out is, is the oil GMO or not GMO. Uh, check this out guys, let's, let's put it into sections, okay? Uh, the pesticides and, and the, the GMO. Let's start with GMO. Guys, don't worry about GMO in, in black seeds, okay? Uh, when you gonna see the black seed oil in every uh, house in the world, like potatoes, tomatoes, cucumber, then we should to worry about GMO, okay? When every single family need that. Today, the production of uh, those uh, 35, 40 thousand tons of black seeds worldwide uh, still cover the demand of, of the oil production. Uh, so that's why uh, there is no need for <laughs> for GMO. Not yet, not that time. Okay, there is no big fields, guys. There is no. It's only small farming. So don't worry about GMO. Okay. Then about pesticides, guys. We have to know that everything on Earth has pesticides. Now, it's a well-known fact. If it's not from the greenhouse, it has pesticides. Uh, people wrongly think that organic means that free of pesticides. It's not. And USDA website say about that, but nobody just read uh, the website. Nobody, you know, go in deep inside to this uh, subject. But at the end of the day, remember, all farmers they 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 care about of all products in the world. They care about harvest because this is what they have money from, and they have only one harvest in a year. Do you think he gonna risk uh, fifty percent of harvest due to the weather or the animals? Of course not. They will do everything possible and possible to protect the harvest, the crop. Okay. So um, then the question only left: Are they using natural pesticides? allowed pesticides or are they using uh, synthetic pesticides? That's a big question. Yes, as for the uh, black seeds, well guys, like I said, it's a small farming up to now. It's not that big, you know, uh, harvesting every year 35, 40,000 tons worldwide, it's nothing. So that's why uh, it's still, uh, you know, farmers no need to use uh, bad pesticides. How to check it? Very easy. The, the governments of the countries, they, they provide for each shipment of seeds, they provide the uh, phytosanitary certificate. And uh, after that, when uh, seeds arrive into the uh, seaport of United States, for example, the agriculture department, FDA, taking it under control and making an analysis. And after that, they only after that, they release. Uh, the uh, shipment of the seeds after they know that you know the seeds are uh, good and there is nothing uh, harmful okay as for those people who read specifically about Ethiopia and uh, they read uh, information about that long time ago it was DDT pesticides and Ethiopian used those DDT pesticides and they're afraid that probably that is in, in the black seed oil. Don't worry, DDT, it's not in the black seed oil because all the information you read, if you look to the, all that, it, it's a 2010, 2012. After that, it was a lot of procedures done uh, by Ethiopian government, and there is no more any DDT in in in, uh, uh, in Ethiopia uh, already for science what science 2013, I guess yes, yeah, science uh, 2013. There is nothing. The last DDT they uh, they find it in the storage, and it was. Uh, it was sent to Bots Botswana or whatever they send it there for utilization. That's it. And by the way, there is a video which was which posted five years ago in YouTube. You can find they posted five years ago, uh, which is what, which is 2017. Uh, but actually, it was recorded in 2013 when they find the DDT and the uh, final store, uh, storage in, in, in the country and they send it away uh, from Ethiopia. But why they post it only in 2017? Because in 2017, Ethiopia start finally not just ban it, you know, put a ban on, on different uh, uh, pesticides, but they also start to finally educate farmers. 
And that uh, video they also put as a part of uh, Education the Farmers uh, in 2017. So if you uh, read not only bad claims from t 2012 and 2010, but you will read actual information from you know 2022 2023 you will see that the government is doing huge huge job in Ethiopia to educate farmers not just you know not allowed pesticides those kind and that's it no they educate why it's good why, why it's not good why you don't need to try to you know go different road to find the, 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 those pesticides and use it you know behind the back behind the scene no and, and they really control it. And like I say, every shipment, never forget, before to be released in the United States, checked by Agriculture uh, Inspection, FDA. I have those pictures on Instagram. You can, you can go there, watch uh, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, open gallery and see the pictures with the, with the label on the back that it, it, it was checked by, uh, you know, it was open because they, they open, they never close it properly, but they put labels that, hey, it's us, we open for analysis. You know what I mean? Everything you can find on Instagram. So don't worry about best pieces size, it's under control. Uh, hopefully this video uh, useful for you and you're not gonna be worried uh, when you wanna take uh, uh, SUOP and the best black seed oil on earth. Don't worry, everything under control and see you in the next video.